So now we're going to talk about how to change your display projection in ArcMap. Just remember that whenever we're using ArcMap, this is a this is our viewing projection. It's what we're actually seeing it. The projection of what things are, you can see if you go to the properties and you look under source. That's the projection, the native projection of the data. So here we can see that we have uh, unprojected is our native projection of the geographic coordinate system WGS84. And on our points files that we have, if we look here under the properties, our native projection is the uh, North American data 1983, which is also unprojected. So we're going to want something that's projected. And you can see here that Texas does not look very nice. It's kind of squished because it's unprojected. So what we're going to do is that we're going to project this. And the way that we're going to project this is by right clicking on layers and going to our properties. This is going to go to our data frame properties. Another way you can get to data frame properties is by clicking on edit, uh, sorry, on view, and then click on data frame properties. So again, right now we're not changing the native projection of the file, of the shape files, we're actually just changing our viewing projection. And ArcMap has this nice uh, tool, a nice uh, capability of doing reprojection on the fly. So ArcMap will actually reproject everything that's in our view window into whatever projection we want for viewing. So we are going to change that by going to now our, our data frame properties. So we'll choose the coordinate system tab here. And then here you'll see that right now it's using North American uh, data in 1983. ArcMap's always going to choose your display projection as the first thing that you add into ArcMap. And since we added these shape files into ArcMap first, it shows those as our display projection. But what we're going to do now is change what our display projection is going to be by going to predefined, and then we'll see our familiar geographic coordinate systems or projected coordinate systems. This time we want to choose projected coordinate systems and estate systems. Since we're working with all the state of Texas, we want to choose a projection system that works well with looking at the entire state view. And then we're going to go down and we're going to choose the Texas statewide mapping system. Whenever we apply this, we'll see now that ArcMap will reproject. And of course, it's going to give us a warning that it's doing these transformations, but that's OK. So we're going to hit yes. And now you can see that Texas has been reprojected on the fly for our viewing pleasures into this nicer shape of what we usually see Texas as on a map. So this is nice. Uh, one way that you can quickly find out what the native projection of files are without having to right click and go to the data uh, to the source properties um, you can just look on, on over here in our data frame properties under layers and if you just expand this folder out you can actually see here that these different projections for each of the layers this also gives you the option to choose these projections but we don't want to choose those projections we're happy with this uh, Texas statewide mapping projection so we are just going to say OK and just here, here we go, enjoy our file.